ahead and get started just because I don't think we'll probably take the whole time and then we can do other things. Hi, I'm Danica Brown. Um, I was scheduled to teach a section of this class, but it's a, I've got a different thing going on and I have to give it up. This first semester since I've taught that I had, don't have a first first year class, so it's kind of weird for me. But. So you all are in this like sort of an experimental third space kind of stuff. So um, how's it going? Does anybody, how, what's your experience with this so far? I guess you, this is probably for many of you your first 1302 class. Have, been, have any of you taken a different 1302? No, so it's all your first, so as far as you know, this is how it goes, right? <laughs> well, that's cool. Um, so you're all doing different things in your classes, but the one thing we're all doing this together is writing uh, academic discourse right? and learning that academic discourse, how to be professional college writers. So today we were going to talk about, I know some of you have already started talking about citation. Some of you probably in your 1301 class had citation. Did you talk about MLA and APA and all that in your 1301? And, um, but today we're going to put that in the context of this notion of authority and how we establish authority as writers or as thinkers or talkers or whatever we do, right? Um, do any of you watch South Park? No? No? A couple of you. Did you, do you remember the episode where Cartman has the cop, this is from a while back, has a cop uniform and he goes around saying, you will respect my authority. <laughs> So authority is something that we suggest people are supposed to respect, right? So what do you take authority to be when you're talking about um, believing somebody or doing something because somebody told you to, right? What's, uh, you do it because somebody has authority. Is that true? Right? You would, if, if I told you you should all go out and quit your job tomorrow or go sell your car or whatever, you would say, well, or you should move, you find a new house tomorrow. Right? You know, I don't have any authority to be telling you those things, right? I don't really even have any authority to be telling you anything because I'm not your teacher. <laughs> I'm not even your professor. None of you are enrolled well. That's not true. I actually am a couple people's professors in here. Your, your writing associates are in, I've got at least one writing associate in my class, but I can boss her around in that class, right? But I don't really have the authority to do so here. But when we're talking about how people, when we talk about authority, we, we're also talking about notions of credibility, believability, respect, right? To respect someone's authority means you grant them the, the what, I don't know, grant them the privilege of being some kind of expert, right? Or being in a position to tell you something and you believe it. That's true, right? So how does authority get granted? How do we recognize authority? How do we, how does, how do we get, when we're talking about rhetoric, you're in a rhetoric class, right? Rhetoric means, in some cases, right, the ways we're persuaded, right? And we're persuaded in different ways, in different contexts by different people. So, and it's not just the words we use, right? The, those. There's all sorts of signals to us. If you look at this room, how is this room set up? Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> right? How do you know you're supposed to be looking at me? You can talk. In fact, I would prefer if you did talk. Right? All the chairs are facing me. All of them. Except for these two. And nobody said, nobody, none of you came up here and sat up here. To face each other. Why is that? Because you're not the teacher. What, what does it mean not to be the teacher? I've got the authority, right? I'm the boss, right? How about this? What is this? A podium. And what do we associate podiums with? Authority, right? Because messages get delivered from them. So everything about this room <clears throat> is set up to establish my authority should I choose to stand up here, right? 
you're getting rhetorical messages from the moment you walk into this room, where you're supposed to look, who you're supposed to listen to, what you're supposed to pay attention to. All of those things are signals to you that tell you how to respond to whatever it is I'm saying. Right? That doesn't do me a whole lot of good if I can't back it up and sound like I know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, if I stood up here and was speaking gibberish, which I may very well be as far as you're concerned, right? right? Then I, I don't maintain that respect for my authority. What? I don't give you any reason to believe that I have the, the wherewithal to give you any advice. I introduce myself as Danica Brown. Does that tell you anything about me? Aside from my name, right? You know, my name is Danica Brown. Okay. What might I have done to signal some more indications of my authority? Doctor. I might have said I'm Dr. Danica Brown, right? Boom, I got that PhD. <laughs> Does that make you like me more? Probably not. But what else could I have done? Or what else did I do? Uh, I could have put up a PowerPoint. You, some of you probably saw I was messing with something, so maybe I'll show you something, but I don't like PowerPoints. I'm not very good at putting together PowerPoints. They, all look, they look, um, amateurish. So then I undermine my own authority when I put up a PowerPoint. But for you, if I'd have put up a PowerPoint, what would that have told you? Oh, okay. Gave you a sense of where we were going to go. So that gives you more of a signal so you can follow along with the script better. Good. What other things could I have done? Or did I do? <laughs> Just because you, I'm standing up here, and you knew the expectation was, you gave me your attention. That was, and so I grabbed it as soon as I could. Right? Oh, hey, they're looking at me. What else could I have done, or did I do? You could have told us to be quiet when we were talking. I could have told you to be quiet because I have that authority. Why do you think I chose not to? Because you're adults, right? So, I, I, so you could read that as I was treating you as an adult, right? Letting, not telling you, be quiet, right? In fact, I'm, I do it for a little different reason. I don't really have any desire. I'm pretty uncomfortable, you may have noticed, because I introduced myself as Danica Brown, not Dr. Danica Brown. I don't use the PowerPoint, right? I'm a little uncomfortable with the whole authority deal. It's not, it's not my favorite position to be in. And in fact, I usually have to do things to kind of downplay my authority. I feel, I feel it's necessary to kind of, which is not to say I don't think I know what I'm talking about, because I definitely know what I'm talking about. Right? Very, I'm very clear on that. I'm very confident that I do. But it's that I don't want, to, I don't want you to think I'm trying to be the boss of you. Right? And lots of people think I'm trying to be the boss of them when I, when I, when I take my authority role seriously. I come off as, as trying to be the boss. So I have to downplay the messages, right? Okay. How about in writing? When we think about your written products, right? How, in what ways do we establish authority or credibility? What are some of the major ways we, we do that? Ultimately, what does authority depend on? I just said it. Hmm? Credibility, right? And credibility depends on knowing what you're talking about. Isn't that kind of, don't you, if somebody doesn't, if somebody's a joke because they don't know what they're talking about, they can't establish any kind of credibility, they don't have any authority then. Then they become dictators if they, if they try and have power. They don't, nobody concedes to it, right? People, they have to, they have to enforce it through threat and that sort of thing. Right? But if somebody's credible, if somebody has, knows what they're talking about, they, they, they're, they get that authority. So how do you know what you're, how do you show you know what you're talking about when you're writing? Confidence. Hmm? Confidence. Okay, 
what, what would be some markers of confidence? and the jargon, okay? So that's, so the, what is, what, what do you mean when you say jargon and lingo? Well, I mean, if I'm like a physicist, I'm going to be talking about physics stuff, you know? So you use the terminology of your field, right? And that terminology indicates, when you use the terminology of a given field, right, you're indicating your membership in that field, right? That your comfort with being there. Good. How else? evidence from like another credible source and I cited it. Okay, why, what, what makes a credible source? Well, like someone else as a doctor or distinguished in their field. Okay, so not only if you, so in that case, if you're going to draw on an outside source, you want to draw on a credible outside source, right? And how do, how do you indicate to your listeners or readers that you're drawing on a credible source? Okay, you, how do you cite it? What are ways to cite a source? You acknowledge the, where you're getting it from and then you put where you got it. <laughs> okay, so you say according to, right? What kind of information, if you say I, according to this study done by Dr. So-and-so, right? What, how do you, what kind of information, do you just cite the source or what kind of information do you need to provide to make the audience believe that that's a credible source? Hmm? Okay, why might the year be helpful? Um, maybe it's to, um, like if it was, if you're talking about space, and he's talking about, oh, it's a current event, mm -hmm. and it goes from 1917, it's not actually current. Right. So it's a certain place, it's better. Okay, good. So, time might be relevant. We have to determine if time is relevant. Maybe we're talking about timeless issues, like, er and you want to, use old stuff because you're pointing out just how long a history this has, right? But if you're trying to talk to, about up-to-date stuff, you want to also indicate the year. 